Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks and welcome ye all to the Bard's Tale, remastered and re-snarkled on the PlayStation 4 Pro. This game snuck me by a little bit. Uh, I think it dropped in summertime onto PlayStation 4 and PS Vita, so I'll most likely actually get it on the Vita as well. It was only $7.99. It's a cracking little RPG from back in the day, which I never played and I gave it a go on mobile device. Was loving the game, but was hating playing it on mobile device a long time ago, and so I just gave up on it until it landed, and here it is. So I was delighted to see it on the PlayStation Store. We're going to crack straight in. The narration, the music, the humour in this game is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I've only played the opener, so once we get past the opening little segment, it'll all be fresh to me. Would you like to hear a new story? Okay. Yes, please. So where we begin? There, the guy who does the narration is absolutely fantastic, and sadly, I read somewhere, and I apologise if I've got this wrong, but when I looked into the game a while back, it said that he passed away, I think, a few years ago. Uh, but terrific narration, terrific music as well, for that matter. The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. A high vitality will increase the bard's health, making him more difficult to defeat in battle. Luck has a subtle effect on many aspects of the Bard's adventures. A high dexterity allows the Bard to inflict greater damage with ranged weapons. I love the talking through the menu like this. I wish more games did that. Shopkeepers will offer significant discounts to the Bard if he has high charisma. Rhythm allows the Bard to play magical tunes with greater skill. Enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. Okay, so this rhythm one at the bottom here, this is our, well, for my liking, that's probably the most powerful one you've got because that is effectively your summons magic. And what he does is he, he plays magical tunes on his loot and conjures up or summons animal creatures. So we're going to get that up to 10. We've got 12 points at the bottom here, just in case you wonder what I'm doing. Uh, 12 points available, so we're going to put four of them there, and we're going to have the bard is, the more damage he can inflict two on strength, weapons. two on vitality, vitality will increase the bard's health. two on dexterity, because I will get a bow. In battle. A high dexterity allows the bard to inflict greater damage with ranged weapons. One on luck, one on charisma. Shopkeepers will offer significant the only downside to talking over the menu like he is, he is that he keeps doing it over and over again. <laughs> Every time you highlight one. It, it might be better actually if you had a, if you pressed square or something on each one to actually get him to say it again after the first time around. Okay, we're good to go. Let's crack straight in. We'll play it on normal for now. Allows the bard to equip and use two-handed weapons. Allows the bard to fight with a dirk in one hand and a sword in the other. Allows the bard to equip and use a flail. The bard will automatically bash with his shield after blocking, stunning his enemy. A powerful charging attack which stuns enemies, used with a sword skill. Quite nice actually, yeah, it's an overpower, so you just hold down the attack button for it. A powerful ranged shot which passes through its target, used with a ranged skill. Gives the bard a chance to score a critical hit on his enemies, inflicting additional damage. <clears throat> the bard gains bonus coins for any treasure he finds. Yeah, it's pretty tempting. I did Treasure Hunter on the last one because I figured we'll probably get enough moves in the game anyway without having a, a talent move. Um, although that shield bard you just... A powerful charging attack which stuns enemies, used with a sword skill. Or power shot if I end up using the bow more. Ranged shot, which passes through its target, used with a ranged skill. I'll go treasure hunter. I think it'll be handy for getting it'll stuff from the shopkeepers and stuff. Love. One man, a poet and a rogue, with no friends to speak of, no one to mourn his passing. Should it come to that, even those beside him are no more boon companions than bond servants summoned by sorcery. And song, as cold and indifferent to him, is the light of a wandering star. You've made 
a mistake in coming here. But to know where he is, we need to know where he is from. And to know that, we've got to begin elsewhere. And not that long ago. A simple man he was, with a quick wit and a sharp tongue, an eye for the lasses, and a talent for keeping one step ahead of the law, come to Houghton to play his tunes and make his way. He found himself standing outside the Drunken Rat, a public house owned by the widow Mary McCrary. The bard <laughs> readied his instrument and prepared to ply his trade. Mary McCrary. No idea why they've not HD the opener. Ah, a rat! A rat! You drunken lots! Get off your backsides and kill it! I'll save you, fair damsel. Ah, oh, what a strapping man you are to be saving <laughs> me from that wee beastie. I happened to be wandering by when I heard your cries over the rumbling of my empty belly. You aren't hers, are you? No, but aren't you the sweet one for asking? See, I've an idea. If you'd be willing to do a little job for me, I'd give you a good meal and a warm place to lay your head for the night. I'd be only too happy to handle anything you'd like to heave my way. Then it's a deal. For it's a wee rat problem I've got in me cellars, and if you could do away with them, I'd be ever so thankful. Rats, you say? In the cellar. How cliché of you, love. But I'll forgive you this once. You'll need a bigger sword than what you've got, in case you run into trouble. Oh, and uh, my sword is quite big enough to handle any troubles you might have. <laughs> Mary McGreary has a very, very odd dodgy Scottish accent, as do most of them in this village, as it happens. Uh, as you can see, the, the HD job on this game, considering it's an original Xbox game and PlayStation 2 game, is absolutely terrific. I don't know why they didn't HD the opening scene. Very, very strange. But anyway, the only thing that's slightly bu bugging me is that the right stick is sort of inverted. Well, it's inverted to the way I would normally push things. So left actually does move it left as opposed to... I don't know why my brain wants it moving the other way, but it does. But there's no way of turning it around anyway. Let's move on. Right, down the cellar we go then. Oh, hello. And then the bard looted the chest which contained the widow's most precious... Wait a minute. Did I read that properly? You're stealing from her? I wouldn't call it stealing, exactly. I mean, people leave all kinds of things in chess, and they never seem to object when I help myself. Think of it as a public service. I mean, who knows how cluttered these chests might become if I didn't do my part to help clean them out. In hindsight, I'm surprised it took the bard this long to get his hands on Mary's chest. <laughs> I suspect we're going to have lots of uh, naughty puns in this game, people, and such like. And innuendos and all sorts of things. Mary's just not the last time we'll be seeing uh, Mary's chest either. I'm sure you'll all be delighted to know. Let's have ourselves a little save. We do like a little save on this channel, people. There's not much lootery to do at this point, it's just the opening tutorial. Ah! Hurrah! Quest complete! All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who has bravely made the cellars once again safe for buxom barmaids and wanton widows. <laughs> <laughs> Run! The bard, finding himself wreathed in flame, dashed up the stairs towards the safety of the tavern. Oh, hello. Help! 
It's a bit hot in here. Thank you, Mary. Well or is that well done? <laughs> Not well done. More like medium rare. <laughs> now we'll have another go at him with this. <laughs> you better hope I've cooled off when I return. Or you're Eyes front, soldier. <laughs> Every time she's... There's going to be a lot of looking at her boobs, I think. Right. Back down we go, people. She doesn't seem any of the wiser that I've robbed her at this point in time. Pretty sure we didn't need that save, but you never know, people. It's RPG land. Who the hell are you? How'd you get down here? Look here, laddie. Don't be concerning yourself with such things right now. I'm here to help you with your rat problem. Any brute can swing a sword. If you really want to slay that hairy beastie, try playing this tune on that loot of yours. Go on, clear off out of it. I've no use for you. I'm not offering to go with you, laddie. I'm offering you a bit of song and magic that'll bring you back in one piece. Great. So now the rat gets dinner and a show. If it's so bloody powerful, use it yourself and save me the trouble. <laughs> well, I could. But I'm not a man of action like yourself. So do yourself a favour and take a little charity when it's offered, my boy. Done. Show me what you've got. Ooh, spidery friend. Very nice. Before you head down there and face that huge rat, I'd like to be sure that you know your business. Would you like me to teach you a few wee things that'll help you get the best of any foes you might encounter? Yeah, OK, so I will do the tutorial so you guys can see it. I think I'm going to regret this. But I'll humour you, old man. Good job, lad. You already know how to attack, but let's talk about defending yourself. Press the defend button. Well, what are you on about? You're completely insane, aren't you? You know, I ran into this other guy once. He kept talking about mice I couldn't see. Now I'm blocking pretend blows. I hope you appreciate what I'm going through here and reward me sufficiently. That was great, Boyo. You'll notice that instead of holding down the button, you'll have to time your defence to the enemy's attack. Of course I have to time it. How else am I going to block anything? Now, laddie, let's teach you how to play that loot of yours and make some magic. What? Does my name not mean anything to you? The Bard? Did you not see me summon that rat a few moments ago? Press the summon menu button. You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? You'll see several choices. These are the different types of beasties you'll eventually be able to summon. For now, let's summon that spider I taught you about. Well, at least, finally. This part is important, so listen up, laddie. The creatures that you summon aren't under your complete control, but they will try to do what you wish to the best of their ability. Try to give them orders using the command buttons. For example, press the aggressive button to make your little friend there become more aggressive. Lovely. <clears throat> Do you know, it took me a... <laughs> it took me about 30 seconds to figure out what that symbol was. It's up on the D-pad of it. Attack! Ah, you're getting the hang of things now, aren't you, lad? You can experiment with different uses of the command buttons to develop your own strategies. Now, at times, you may want to get rid of a creature you've summoned. Simply go back into the same menu you've summoned him from and select him again. That's the way to get rid of an unwanted creature. Right you are. <clears throat> 
<laughs> Although it doesn't look much like a spider. It looks more like an electricity right. bolt, doesn't it? Does that trick work on you as well? <clears throat> Good luck against the rat, my boy. <laughs> The one-handed Scotsman. Thank you for your help, good sir. And I like your kilt. In the future, I'm going to have to learn how to dodge these mysterious old man types. All right, so... Back to the spider we go. Uh, hang on a minute. I think we'll have a bit of spider reaction before we get there, maybe. Let's get a side on, I think. Charge! Charge! Nice. Didn't even need the sword. All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who's bravely made the How cellar... about you tell the story and leave the sarcastic patronising to me, OK? <laughs> Sounded a bit like Michael Caine. <laughs> OK, no loot by the looks of it. Uh, we'll get rid of our spidery friend for now. Uh, sure, why not? I think there's a save point outside the pub as it happens after the next bit, which will all be fresh to me at that point, ish. Had a little wander around the village, so I've just got a feel for where the shops and stuff were. Mary McGrady! Run away again, did ya? Go back to where you came from and leave the fight into those who've got the guts for it. I've plenty of guts, milady, which is why you needn't trouble yourself about that rat any longer. You mean it's dead? Oh, thank you. I can't tell you how grateful I am. You get a choice at the top there of a grumpy, a sarcastic or a smiley, I think, or a grumpy and a smiley. It's the least I could do for a damsel in distress. Now, how about that meal? Why don't you wait while I fix you some leftovers? Oh, and your room in the back is almost ready. Having spent a lonely night in a somewhat uncomfortable and shabby bed, the bard awoke the next morning in a foul humour. You should go speak with that strange friend of yours. He was starting to scare away my regular customers. <clears throat> I had to chase him out. <laughs> <laughs> what is that Scottish accent all about? You killed it! You killed it! The fire-breathing rat in the cellar was the best practical joke we had! Now what are we supposed to do to entertain ourselves? You're welcome. Oh, we can't speak to Mary McRary. Very impressive, young man. I wish I had the guts to stand up to the wife the way you stood up to that rat. But of course, she's a bit more vicious. Yeah, his Scottish accent's quite good. Yeah, 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 so you killed a rat. What do you want? A medal? Aye. I'm going to activate this song because it's an absolute gem, so I'm going to just activate it and let, <laughs> and let it play out. Drunken rat that aching drone and throw his pub as will. One thing you can be sure of, it's Charlie's beer they sell. So all you lads and lasses at eleven o'clock you stop for five short seconds. Remember Charlie Mott. One, two, 
song beer 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 tiddly beer 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 that's going to be in my head for the next number of weeks now <laughs> out we go beer 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 tiddly beer 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 you're welcome what did i tell you lad you hooked him and cooked him thanks to that song you gave me you're welcome boy you and should you be looking for another one like it find the trowel in the fairy haunt woods but keep your wits about you. The devilish clever, the trowel. With magic by the pound, and not a single scrap of honesty. Mmm, sounds a little dangerous to me. I don't care much for trowel. I think I'll pass. Come now, boy. What's a little danger when compared to power? Didn't that little trick I showed you help you get in good with the Widow McCrary? If it's a skin you're worried about, I will wee trinket here that will keep you safe from harm. This amulet was made by a powerful sorceress. It can summon her spirit to heal your wounds in battle. You'll need adder stones to provide the necessary mystical power. If you like, you can even use multiple stones for even greater effect. Dear laddie, try it out. So we need adder stones to heal ourselves, the sounds of it. she? She's beautiful. I'll take the amulet, old man. And, uh, what were you saying about her trail? Find him in the fairy haunt woods. Bannerfeet be his name. He can teach you magic enough to impress any lass. Five out of stones, thank you. Now, I think Trying to figure out how you use an adder stone. He didn't actually tell you how to use it, he just said it was there. <laughs> so I don't know what that's all about. Ah, there it is. Right trigger and X by the looks of it. What's the left trigger for then? Punching. So we've got bumper buttons going on and we've got trigger buttons going on. We have got, so let's have, we'll have a little look around the village. I'll show you what's where, if I can remember. Uh, what you can do with the map, <clears throat> the radio map at the top right, you can click it and then it brings it on screen. So you can actually see sort of where you're running to and get your bearings. It's a little bit... You get a little bit lost looking down like this. Pardon me. Top of the morning to you. Sorry. And this is a store. Of which we can't buy anything, I don't think, because it was all a bit too expensive, but we're going to say hello. The blacksmith. 
Well now, you must be the bard that everyone's been talking about, the fellow with the spider made of lightning. It's honoured I am to have you in my shop, sir, and happy to facilitate all your arms and armament needs. Swords, bows, or armour, everything here is first rate and for sale. Terms of cash in advance, in full, all sales final, with no letters of credit, layaways, or IOUs. We do have a buyback policy. If you buy it, don't bring it back. Ha <laughs> ha. So look over what you want, and I'll be happy to cover the finer points of any item I have in stock. But remember the golden rule. You break it, you buy it. <laughs> right, so we've... Uh... You got shields, swords, and bows. What have you got in the way of shields and armor? It's a fact. A warrior is only as tough as his weakest armor. Plenty of folks have bought the cheap stuff. Oh, it's but armor, not shields. Customers, if you take my meaning. Too expensive for us anyway. Show me have your a look sword. and see what's there. This is where we have our close combat weaponry. When you're battling a foe up close and personal, you don't want to skimp on your instrument of battle. Mm. In most cases, not the best man, but the best weapon walks away to tell the tale. So, we can't use those two because we didn't take the perk for using them, I don't think. So we need to stick with sword anyway. Something else. Ooh, treasure map. Show me your bows. If you ask me, there's no better place to battle a deadly foe than from a distance. The more you spend on this ranged weapon, it will not only put you further from your enemy, but also further from your own tombstone. Let me see something else. Get to the good part. Okay. Just what I don't know. I don't th think there's any crafting. I think it's just buying stuff. So we need 260 for the bow. I think that's what it said. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything else in here. So. We shall go around talking to people who shall give us some things to do and some things to loot. I think we'll... Oh, that's leaving. We'll hug the left and we'll go all the way around, I think. Sorry. <laughs> Beautiful water there as well. It's a cracking HD job, considering the the age of the game. It's bloody well, brilliant. In fork. Oh, easy. It marks the doorways with a little grey cube on the map there. And to the Kirk. I don't think I've been in here, actually. Welcome to the Kirk of Houghton, young man. We can lay our hands for a healing and blessing, should you feel inclined to make a small donation. Here you are. Blessings upon you. And to you, good sir. Well, I suppose you can get rid of helmets, I assume, then. Go in there. We'll keep hugging the wall for now, and then we'll come through the middle. Excuse there me. they go. Can we talk to any of these people? I don't think so. <laughs> Highland cows in there, look. How unprofessional having met friends pop up on a recording, people. Who put me in charge? Be careful, young sir. There is a ferocious bugbear on the loose. Grrr. I'd best leave be if I were you. I, I I mean I mean you'd best leave if you were you. Oh, you know what I mean. You should leave Houghton and ne'er come back. Don't worry, old man. If I was you, then there'd be two rambling idiots in this brock. <laughs> wait, if I were you, there'd only be one rambling idiot in this. No, no, wait. If I were, <laughs> no, oh, all right, never mind. Either way, I'm not planning on moving in here. I'll be gone soon enough. Okay. Uh, where's the door? Beer, 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 tiddly beer, beer, beer. <laughs> I'm sorry, madam. Oh, hello. Wanted. 
Yeah, I think, uh, okay. Maybe we shouldn't run in and just take stuff. Also, how come I'm not healed when that woman came out and healed me earlier? Top left, I seem to be only a little bit of green on me. Let's try it. Woo, trophy time. Oh, that was a waste. Didn't seem to do anything. What's that in the top left, then? I assume that needs to be green, that thing. Does that just get rid of elements, then? It doesn't actually heal you. Hobbit hole. Yeah, can't go in there. Check in. <laughs> That's dead. Okay, a, th uh, a flashing ones, ones have already been in then, maybe? That would be helpful. No, it's not. This is where I start losing my bearings, people. All oh, right, we can actually go in the water. <laughs> I didn't realise. Never mind. Well, we did the ones on the left. Oh, hello. Hey, hello. Well, now, you're a spry little thing. I could do with a friend. Care to throw him with me? Hey, got ourselves a dog. Awesome. Okay. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that's the pub there in front of us. Shop to the left, so we've done those. Hug the left there. I'm going to have to retrack here because I've lost my bloody bearings. There is quests in these houses, that's why I'm being careful. That's the Kirk. So we definitely did that. You can see me having this map on pretty much all of the time. Watch out. Boyd's Barrels. Hello, traveller. Could I interest you in any of my finely crafted barrels? I have many models to choose from, all displayed attractively right outside my shop. Hmm. Let me think. No. <laughs> no. Get the impression that Back in the day, those loading screens probably took bloody ages to open doors and stuff. Not anymore. I think these might be the two houses that I did, but... I oh, know, Old Man Winter. I remember. Uh, yeah, it is, isn't it? That's the guy we've already spoken to. Am I being stupid? Is there something on there that says I've already done it? It seemed to be. It'd be useful if it was a different colour to say you'd already been in. Yeah, I've already robbed her of all her goodness. <laughs> all right. So, so that triangle's done. Uh, what are those two doors up straight up the front then? One's out, I assume. Is 
sheriff's office. So you're the fellow that's been chasing through Houghton with your rats and lightning spiders, eh? <laughs> to be sure I am. Why are you Irish and everyone else is Scottish, eh? All I'm after is songs and silver, and I've no mind to break the laws in getting them. That's fine. My job is to be keeping the peace, collecting the taxes, and fending off the Kunal Trow. Respect that, and you're welcome to stay in Houghton as long as you please. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in me jail. Seems reasonable. Uh, can we go up the stairs? No, we can't. Sorry. Sorry. Ah, that's the blacksmith. We're back at the blacksmith. Right, okay. So... Pardon me. Pardon me, me lover. So it looks like it's okay to rob as long as people don't see it. But if they see you, your wanted level goes up by the looks of it. Right, I assume I've missed a few houses here. Let's go. Hopefully my treasure hunter thing will kick in and I'll be getting lots of coinage. Extra coinage, I should say. You've come looking for my bogan, haven't you? Of course you have. But it's gone he is, for he's the one, the chosen one, who free the fair princess from cruel bondage. And what do ye suppose that means to a poor old woman like me? Why? Everything, that's what. For he's promised to come back, my organ, and take me away from this awful place and give me a proper house with glass in the windows, floors of wood, and a larder so full we'll never know hunger again. So, when you see him, tell him his mother loves him. <laughs> Some of the side characters seem to have slightly less attention to detail. Like the blacksmith had perfect lip sync. He was bloody awesome. She's not got lips at all, I don't think. <laughs> Plenty of variety in the voices, though, which is good. Uh, oh, we're back at the pub. Here we are. Well, we'll have a little save as happens. We've done a fair bit of walking about there. I don't know why I didn't get a dog sooner. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> this map's doing me head in. We all know what my directional capability is like at this point, people. Top-down maps like this are not helping me. Sorry. Sorry. The 
there was uh... save bard enemy friend door goal that's fine well we know the goal the actual goal that we need to do is outside of this it's on the radio menu but I did pick up a quest from somebody my trial bit Jesus I'm back where I started again let's go over the other side people Let me know when you found my organ. All right. So we need to find Ogan. That was a quest that was actually given then. It's going to take me three hours now to find this one guy that I remember giving me a quest. <laughs> it must be the one house I've not gone in. That's the pub and the shop on the right. Sorry. I think. Dorod's Brock. What do you want? If you're a thief, you'll get nothing from me, for I've only these old bones and a heavy heart. Sorry, Grandad. I didn't expect to find you here or frighten you when I did. <laughs> I'm only looking out for a bit of silver to line my pockets. Of course you are, young sir. And I happen to know how you might find some. For it's a cruel bugbear that's been keeping the farmers from observing their rituals. And us farmers have to perform our rituals at the Houghton Cairn. Without them, the crops won't grow and the weans go hungry. I know what it means to be hungry, and worse it is for a child. So, a fair price for a fair piece of work, and it's a bargain. Ah, bless you, my boy. I knew you for a game lad the moment I saw you. As for the bugbear, You'll find him in the cairn, and when you're done with him, come back here and we'll pay you what we can. Yeah, if I can find you again. Alright, so we've got... See, he hasn't got a marker on him. Oh, it might, might change right enough once I've done something to do with it. All right, so I've got my barons now. So on the left of us, we've got the pub, then we've got the blacksmith. Then the old dude was right next to us that I was actually looking for. And I think we may have done all of them. Uh, there's actually a... Oh, here we go, look. We can go in there now that we've got this quest. Bugbear Cairn. Well, that doesn't look ominous. It's gorgeous sunlight coming through that door. I think we might summon something here. Oh, that thing on the left doesn't fill up. Like, half of it's... The green stuff seems to be my magic stuff. And then the red uh, assumes my health. Seems reasonable. Charge! Why haven't I got my sword on? What's going on? No. 
Nice. They're really beautiful areas. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, safe spot. Nice. I was just thinking about a wee save, and there it was, popping up right in front of me. Oh, hello. Easy. God damn it. Stop jumping out of the holes and surprising me. Uh, my health doesn't look great, does it? It does actually regen by itself, but it takes a long time. Yeah, there we go. Back to full. Probably not for long right now. Easy. Fecker and fecker. Is that going to go off again or not? Alright. What? Just killed me dog. Well, I think he's just knocked out as it happens. There he is. Thank God. Ooh. I assume, I haven't actually looked to see if we've got, uh... I assume... Uh, we don't seem to have any sort of menu of... Let's just load and save. Ah, oh, here we go. Well, this is our levelling up and such like. The stronger the bard is, the more... Yes, we've been through that, thank you. Yeah, we don't seem to have any kit menu or anything. Equipment, here we go. Right, yeah, it doesn't seem to let us do anything with it. It just shows us what we've got. Okay. Just in case we're picking up loots and stuff and I've not... Uh, well, I say loot, I don't mean the thing I'm playing. I mean, <laughs> I mean shiny new stuff. Back in. I knew there was something going to pop up there. That's why I stopped. I'm going to die in this place. Did I get him? I think I did. Holy floor. Looks like a holy floor. The lever. Well, the definitely spike's going to come out of that floor. What's this over here? Cow's heads or something, by the looks of it. Doesn't seem to let me do anything with the levers. <sighs> Shiny chest over there, though. Oh, easy. That doesn't look good, does it? <laughs> Goes to cutscene. Oh, hello. What do you want, you little freak? Oh, great time for me, bloody... This can't be. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that was perfect time for me, bloody spider, to run out of bloody health, wasn't it? God's sake, gonna have to do half that cave again. Where am I? That's me sodding bearings now.
I wonder actually if... avoided that this time at least. For God's sake! Here's the dog as well. Excellent. Not sure what's in that. Uh... Oh, I've got a rat as well. Oh, that's the rat I did at the beginning, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, I don't think that's all we want, is it? Okay, let's go, peep. Let's go, peeps. <coughs> Fucker. Take all we feckin' health off those things, like, oh, I only got any left. Oh, hang about. This feels like a different way than before. Oh dear. I need to learn how to block. I'm not doing me blocking, am I? That's what the problem is. Checking that I've uh, not missed any chests in this area. Well, my health builds up a little bit. That's where we came in. Let's try a block this time when we go through. See that one coming. Good. So there are actually little holes in the wall there that I need to look out for. There's another one there. Second, Becca. I don't have enough bloody health to get through this section. In fact, I don't even. It's going to turn. Jesus. Right hand side, Steve. I think my spider didn't run out of steam. I think it actually got killed as it happens. It 
So I actually I kind of like the fact that sprinting through an area is not your best form of protection. How did that hit me? I deliberately dodged it. Charge! I knew that was going to happen. Fucking fecker. Charge! Why does that that electricity seems to do nothing unless I actually tell it to? It just sits there. Doesn't help that I can't get used to this left and right on the menu either. Attack. By the time you actually get past the thing and then <laughs> hit the attack button. No time to get the damn thing. Okay, so this is the place where the guy jumped out at us. We definitely don't want to stand on the holes. The chest we got was here, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it's in the middle. There's another one there. Becker. Is that another one? We've done a bit of a circle as it happens now, haven't we? Oh crap. That's alright. <laughs> Fuck off you. God damn it. <laughs> I was just trying to get to the sodding save point so I didn't lose everything I'd done. I'm not sure if there's loads of those little things or whether it's the same one that keeps jumping out. Spider's in a bit of bother, isn't he? Wondering if you unsummon them and then resummon them again, does it bring them back with full health? It should do. Yeah. That's it, B. Right. Well, in actual fact, the only thing we've got left really is the the fight in the middle then with the chest, which we can get back to via that direction. It's just a big circle, isn't it? So now that we've saved it, I didn't want to waste a stone, but it's taken that sodding long.
second. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that died there, that thing. Oh, there's a door. Ooh! New weapon, thank you! Well, I assume it's just put that on for me, it looks like it. So it looks like the loot system is exactly that. It's going to put on whatever I pick up will be better and it just puts it on, the looks of it. Feck off as if that hit me. I'm only saving this because <laughs> I don't want to lose my new sword if that thing kills me. It is worth noting I've never been in this area in my entire life, so this was all new and fresh. Back in Fecker. got a sword. Fucking fuck off. God damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Look at the health it takes off. It's stupid. Unless it's just me being shit with block, which it could be. They're so feckin' fast though, I don't get a chance to block anything. Oh, for fuck's sake. Tomb Raider versus Dark Souls, this bloody game. <laughs> It's more painful when you die than Dark Souls is. You don't even keep your kit. Uh, can't actually remember how I got to that chest now. Stunned me, the bastard. <laughs> Does seem to freeze it when she heals you. I think he might do his spiky thing now and he's gonna pull the lever, yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. Attack! Charge! He's a little fecker, this guy. Attack! Attack! <laughs> I 
<laughs> Fuck off, you. He's gonna hit me when I'm conjuring me bloody guy, and he you knows, alright. Oh, you bastard, he's gonna ski me. Charge! Charge! No danger he hit me, he was miles away. Jesus, he's got a lot of health on him, this guy. The dog could be helping out a bit. I wish I could use the levers. Oh, no danger. Quick! Charge! Oh, really? Can't summon him yet. Charge! Unbelievable. How did he hit me there? I'm gonna die here. <laughs> this is an exciting battle, isn't it, eh? As well, just waiting and letting him do all the work for me, the little guy. Need to learn how to use my block properly. But the thing is, there was no, didn't seem to be enough time between block and hit to do anything with it. Doing any damage to him, that guy. Oh, you bastard. There's no way of getting off of that. Brilliant. I'm gonna might die here. Oh no, I'm not on a spike. <laughs> Can't use it yet for some reason. Oh, you bastard. Oh, shit, no! Oh, fucking hell, don't believe it. And so the bard met his inevitable... <sighs> much deserved. Well, that's what you need to do. You need to distract him and hit him in the back, but his fucking hit is so strong, it's ridiculous. 
Okay, here goes nothing. It's like bloody Dark Souls, isn't it? You gotta get all the way back to your bloody. What a fucking croc. I was behind him. Uh. Basically, just run around in a circle till it's time to... <laughs> Oh, you bastard. Shit. Didn't see him get rid of the spider. <laughs> We're doing it in half the time now. As long as I don't die. Fucking hell. How can he get me with that every time? Might be semi all right there. Charge! It's a trap! <laughs> Fuck off, that's ridiculous how much that just took off. Run away, run away! I'm trying to figure out what it is that tells me when I'm able to summon the thing again. It's a lesson in summoning diversions is what this is. A bad place to get caught, to be fair, I don't think. Run around the chest now. <laughs> it's all fun and games, it's all shits and giggles till somebody dies, people. Unbelievable. The one time I get a hit in. Oh, fuck. <laughs> They're the other way. Attack! Not lasting long, this Charge. bloody spider. You're not getting me this time, you little fecker. Attack. 
stupid, Steve. That was a rookie mistake going for the front attack there. Why? What are you doing? I hope not all the fights are like this. <laughs> run away, run away. Can't get behind him. We're nearly there, people. In the world's most exciting fight ever to grace the screens of a computer. Bastard. It's a good job that freezes tame. It's taking about 20 fucking minutes this fight. <laughs> Set off the path. Bastard. You went for that corner on purpose, you little cretin. Nearly got you, you little fecker. What's <laughs> this fight all about, folks? Thank you! Woohoo! Trophy time! Please don't kill me, please! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. What? Oh, I'm bleeding. I think you broke me arm. Ah! Is that a tooth? I just spit out a tooth! Oh, not another tooth! Oh, look at me! Look at me! No! Don't look at me! Oh, hell! Do what you want. I don't care. Go ahead and look. I'm not a bugbear. I'm just a dirty old bastard running around in a smelly old rug with a bucket for a head. Go ahead. Take all my silver. I don't need it anyway. I was saving it all up for a date with the widow McClary until she found out I'm still living with me mother. Now she <laughs> won't even speak to me. You know what else? I'm 42 and still a virgin. How pathetic is that? Kill me, please! Just get it over with! You're just pathetic. Is that the same guy that taught us all our stuff? Looks like him. Thank goodness the heroic bard was present to stop that horrible bugbear from looting the tomb of all... Ooh, wow, look at that money. Can buy a bow with that, people. Am I supposed to kill him? No. <laughs> Let's not do that fight again, eh? Not. I'm going to assume that the. Oh, uh, just leave me alone. Just take the silver and go. All right, I'm going. Fuck's sake. Better not be fucking attacking me on the way out.
probably the longest time spent in this tunnel ever by any player, but never mind. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Nonsense. The old Widow McCreary. Alright, let's get out of here, people. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, we've got a new sword and lots of coin. Uh, don't recall which is... Oh, no, that can't be that one. A blessing on your head and all your tasks, young fella. We should have figured it was old Vintners pulling that stunt. We passed the hat and collected all the silver we could. Here's some pieces for all your troubles. Take them and be well. Excellent. I haven't noticed a level up yet, as far as I've noticed anyway. Well, I think the only quest marker we've got left is to go out the front door. So let's go to the blacksmith and get ourselves a boar. Which would have been particularly handy in that fight we just did to stay the hell away from that thing, but anyway. Finally getting to grips with my, uh, where the hell I am on that map. Hello, fine sir. Welcome back. What can I do for you? I'd like a bow, please. I'd like to see your bows. If you ask me, there's no better place to battle a deadly foe than from a distance. The more you spend on this ranged weaponry will not only put you further from your enemy, but also further from your own tombstone. Let me have a closer look. You're looking to drop them from a distance? That's a long bow. These are the finest kiln-dried white ash bowls from the weapon shops of Kirkwall. The choice of Sylvan assassins and until recently banished. <laughs> Excellent choice, my friend, for the longbow is often the key to a long life. You I could use some protection. It's a fact. A warrior is only as tough as his weakest armor. Plenty of folks have bought the cheap stuff, but none of them have been repeat customers, if you take my meaning. Goes from two to two to two to three. It's not that much of a difference, is it? That goes to three to four, but we need a bit more for that. What else you got? I could use a new melee weapon. This is where we have our close combat weaponry. We've already got a Can decent sword. Worth my time. Can't Let's afford that. So let's just see if we can. Uh, Yeah, we've got padded armor at the minute, 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I'm reading that right. That's fine. 9 and 29. The Gallad Bulg. Yeah, it's interesting, but it seems to be when you get a better thing, it's just your old one just vanishes. Must convert it to coin for you, I think. Not overly blessed with other stones. Ah, nice. The bard gains bonus co Plenty to collect in there. Quest log, here we go. Ah. Tell Ogan that his mum says hello. All right, we haven't got that far yet. The stronger the bard is, 
the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. So we need, uh, up at the top there, we need another the 450 the to uh, the more level up. To... We need, we've got 550 weapons. out of 1,000, so we need another 450. Let's have a quick look at the bow. Nice. Yeah, that's better. So we got on with that. Excellent. Right, let's get ourselves to the perb. There'll be a well. I bet there's a quest down there. A perfect place to wrap things up, people. We've only got about half an hour over <laughs> the planned recording footage. Not like me, eh? Well, I actually really enjoyed that. The, the fight was a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> but, you know, I'm suspecting that not all fights are going to be like that. But I love the game. I love the humour. I love the narration. Uh, the voice acting all around is really, really cool and funny. It doesn't take itself seriously at all, which is why it's so much fun. It has been an honour. I, I will do some more of this, actually. Um, I mean, I'm just looking forward to playing more of it. So I will do more of it. And don't worry, more Divinity is coming as well. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in The Bard's Tale. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I'm looking forward to doing a few more episodes at least for you and maybe seeing it through. And I shall see you all in the next part, folks. Take it easy. Bye.